Hello, Ron Treat at Castle Rose Studios here. Today we'll be discussing signal flow in the modern recording studio. I got my background in what connects to what in Nashville, Tennessee, working for Studio Supply Company under David Harrison, doing installs, traveling around the nation for about a dozen or more studios and then went to work at a studio taking care of the equipment and maintenance and learning how to do sessions. This video will help you to be able to control what connects to what in your session. And if you walk into a session where you can't hear anything to know how to diagnose the problem. This is sometimes a little bit intimidating, but it allows you to get to see what connects to what in the analog and the digital world. In a later video, we'll be discussing consoles. In this case, we'll be talking about Pro Tools in the box, from a microphone into Pro Tools, back to monitoring. We will now move to the microphone booth. Signal flow, how to get a microphone into the speakers and be able to record it into Pro Tools or tape machine, if you have a tape machine. From the vocal booth with the talent, in front of the microphone, we have a three wire balanced 600 ohm microphone cord plugged into the microphone through an XLR three pin connector. Going through the mic stand back into the wall, into a microphone panel that is numbered. In this case, we are plugged into line number one. From the back side of this panel, inside the wall, that balance cord goes to the patch bay in the control room. Follow me. In the next step, we will identify the microphone line coming from the wall to the patch bay and its number. Usually on the top row of the patch bay of the number that you plug the microphone in, signal flow tries to go from top to bottom of the patch bay. We patch from the microphone to the preamp input. That we then patch from the preamp output to the Pro Tools input that our session will be using for the talent. In this case, number one, we will further discuss later how to set up your Pro Tools session to receive that microphone and to put that microphone into the speakers and into the headphone cue system. And that is how a microphone gets recorded and monitored in Pro Tools today. Every studio is different in their signal flow and the way that their hardware is connected. No two are really identical. If you'd like to see more tutorials, go to our page at YouTube and you will learn how to deal with a console and outboard gear.